Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you my new app that I wrote for controlling servos. Now as you can see here I've got three servos set up. Um, this app will actually run uh, six servos but I only have three. But uh, this will run six servos without a problem. Um, now before I show you the app We'll go through the circuitry here a little bit and a couple tips about how to hook the servos up. So to start with, you can see I got my Bluetooth module. This is an HC06. And then of course I got my voltage divider. And I went through that before in some other videos. You gotta use that to um, make sure that you only got 3.3 volts or less logic coming in to the HC06 and the Arduino board puts out 5 volts and by using that uh, voltage divider it cuts it down works perfect other than that we just got the power the ground and the logic in and out and I'm powering this off a wall wart right now right through the board um, if you're using six servos on this or larger servos um, the three of these are working fine off the uh, amps that uh, this board can put off but um, <clears throat> if you're using more you'd want to probably put one of these and this is uh, a 5 volt regulator and you just hook that up on your circuit board and then uh, just run your incoming power of like 9 volts or whatever and then you have the output you put one to the Arduino board itself and then run the servos off of the 5 volts and this delivers about an amp if I remember right um, I'll have a link into the, my website on uh, how to find these and use them now as you can see on my Arduino board here I am using an older board that actually uh, it's a specialty board it's older and it has pins on there to actually plug the servos themselves in without having to do anything else now if you don't have that and you're using like regular uno like that or you're using the nano you just want to take some jumper wires plug them into the uh, the plug for the servo and just put your positive which is your red and uh, the black which of course is your ground and then um, the other one uh, these both look like they're white and this one's yellow that is the uh, the wire that you go to your pulse width um, modulation pin now the app I've wrote is for the Uno if you are using like a, a nano or a different uh, Arduino board uh, like the Pro Mini or something like that you might have to go in and change I guess I didn't look I'm not sure what the pulse width modification pins on the nano or the others are or the mega but you might have to change that in the uh, the programming for the board other than that you probably could just upload the uh, the code to the board and then download my app and all six servos will work so that let me oh go with that um, once you download my app that I wrote you just open it up and there it is right there it brings you to the screen and you push the connect then choose your Bluetooth module and mine is the top one for this project and it brings a screen up and you have the disconnect which when you disconnect 
it'll actually bring all the servos back to their middle right in the middle there's 180 degrees and what this does is brings it right back in the center of it otherwise see I move it that's servo one this is servo two And this little one here, this micro servo, is servo 3. Now, I only had three servos. Otherwise, I could show you all of them. But after I wrote it, I took and switched all three down to the others. And trust me, they do work. I just don't have six servos to hook on here. Again. Now, another thing is when you hit disconnect, they all go back to center position. We'll reconnect. All right. Oh, there we go. Now, uh, this circuit is very easy to hook up. Um, if you go to my website, you can find the link to that in the description below, which will bring you to this project's page. You can find um, the download link for my app, which is free. It's 100% free. and uh, So you can download that. And then you also find the code for the Arduino board. Now, in just a moment, I'll bring you over and show you the code there's not really anything you should have to change um, unless you're not using an Uno like I am. If you're using a Nano or a Pro Mini, I do believe their pulse width modulation pins are different. I guess I'd have to look, but I do believe they are different. So you might have to change the pins. Otherwise, the program itself for the Arduino board should be the same for everything with that this is a super easy project um, you could use this for like opening closing your window blinds or controlling um, if you're making a robot you can control it with that um, well with that I guess we'll go over to the computer and I'll uh, show you the Arduino code. And uh, I'm not going to really go over the app much more because there's nothing to really change on the app. So with that, I'll see you at the computer in just a moment. Okay, now once you've uh, went to my website and got the code, and um, you can just copy and paste it. Um, off the website or I'll also put a link on there so you can just download the sketch and then you don't have to mess with that otherwise um, we'll go through it here quick there's not a whole lot to cover um, we got you know they include the servo library and then we define our servos we got six of them as you can see here then in the uh, the setup here you can see we got servo one two three four five and six now, servo 1 is on pin 11, servo 2 is on 10, as you can see, they're all listed, 6, 5, and 3. Now, if you're using a different board than the Uno, the PWM pins, the ones you hook the servos to, may be different. So the only thing you got to do is figure out which pin you're hooking servo 1 to, and just change that number here. And then for 2, just change it right there, change the 10, and then the 9, and so on. After that, there's nothing really else to mess with in this sketch, um, unless you're redesigning it uh, to use a little different. And Feel free to do that. Um, I'm giving this away for free. So with that, um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if it was, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and follow us. Um, then you can be updated whenever we put new tutorials up. 
So thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hut. I hope to see you here again.